All right, guys. Well, we're here with Timmy on Tuesdays. Uh, I took a couple days off. <clears throat> Family were over and all, all that. So, spending time with the kitties. So, today on Timmy on Tuesday, we're going to be focusing on the TTO2, getting it ready for the 100 mile an hour run. Um, I got my battery charged. It's pouring, so we ain't getting out to do our first run. Wanted to do the shakedown before we do the skirts, but I'm probably going to try and at least get the front and the rear skirt on in this video. And uh, also wanted to talk about, <clears throat> if I get a chance, I'll do a quick run of our uh, dancing rider. Um, I kind of have the electronics just zip tied in, and I was had I had to put the battery in sideways. The Eugenics didn't fit in there the normal way. I took the cavity out. Um, and I also switched out the electronics. Uh, the original electronics from the build was uh, a Hobby King that I had. This is a Surpass Hobby setup that I had in the uh, uh, Losi buggy, the JRX. Um, it runs great now. Um, battery's all charged up. Um, so you might see some run video of that. I'll get the body back on it. Um, just wanted to give you an update on that real quick before we get into the TTO2. Um, <clears throat> so make sure you check out our run for a hundred. Um, there is, this is like all year. We'll just, you know, there's no hurry guys. Take your time and get, get some good runs and just send us links to your progress. You know, um, uh, I know Mike's got a bunch of new cars, so he's probably pretty busy. So, uh, anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll get this guy going. I know he's waiting on some parts for his too. So I might go over our CRX out. Joe, I'm not sure when he's putting one out. I know what the holidays and all, you know, it is what it is. But this is pretty much what we're going to go first run. She's the whole time I'm videoing the wrong stuff. So <laughs> I cut that out. Um, so anyways, like I was saying, right here is the base. Um, we're going to get, come back, take a look at how we're going to mount these. I'll get the, uh, let me get the mount so you can see it. We're going to put our holes drilled out so hopefully it's not too bad take a look at our front and our rear scoops and our splitters um <clears throat> see if we have to take the foams off or not i'll be right back with this this part apart and we'll see what we can get into all right um yeah i'll be right back so we got the front apart <clears throat> i took the uh, top piece off the bumper and the bottom skid plate off um these were made for me they're um I'm not sure if he, I'm pretty sure he designed them. These are uh, from um, Rick's FPV. Um, I'm thinking, let's see they slide right in the existing holes there. So they look pretty good. But I'm thinking I can get away with just putting this guy back on and hold it into place and pray that I don't hit anything too crazy, you know? And I'll put this uh, foam bumper back in as well. So this is like a really easy, quick install. Um, I'm assuming you have to put screws in it um, from the top side, um, and that's his intention um, because this plate is not normally there. But we're gonna use what we got. You know, look at that. It's not bad. So I'm gonna put this guy on hoping I could tape it right to the body right to the front of the scoop see what it looks like yeah look at that that's gonna work that's gonna work yep so yeah and I can put this back in I didn't even need to take this off um, which isn't gonna hurt anything it's only gonna make it easier <clears throat> hold it in there a little better Again, I'm assuming that you're supposed to put the long screws in to connect to the splitter itself, but I'm doing it because of my bottom plate. I'm, I'm, a, I'm trying to keep it loose fit, so less chance for stress cracks on 3D printed, you know. But it's freaking cool, man. <laughs> I want to thank you, Rick. This is freaking awesome. I'm digging these. What's going on here? Gotta find a hole. So yeah, and I'll take the rear off next. And the rear looks like it's uh, the plate. 
has the two screws that you just pull off the front. So I'll get that and we'll see how that fits. Maybe I can leave the rear bumper on there. Don't need to, you know. So hopefully you guys are digging and having a great Tuesday. Everybody had a great Easter holiday weekend. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get back on schedule. Sorry again about not doing a weekend repair and all that. And our manic Mondays are haphazard at, at best. So, <laughs> but so this looks like it goes on like this, which the holes the way they line up. It looks like if I trim out this, so I'm not worried about trimming. Let's take this off and see what what the intention is. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So that's the rear. What I did was I took took the bumper off, which I had on there to <clears throat> hold the foam on, and then I um, so I took that off completely and uh, just used the existing holes for the screw in it. They lined, lined up perfect. So. That looks pretty good. Um, I got to put that one screw back in there because when you take the bumper off, you got to replace that. Um, but let's see what it looks like. Maybe, 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 maybe we'll get the uh, sides on too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. It's a nice little skirt there. I'm digging. I'm digging. Not bad. It splits it. It splits it. So yeah, let's take a little quick look and see what that's gonna have on the side skirts. They look pretty awesome. So two sides are slightly different, and you see they kind of fit perfectly like that. So I'm gonna try some two-sided tape first and see how well it holds. I might put a screw in here pre-drill. Just a little. Um, I don't mind one here, but I don't. I'm back. I'm a little nervous about the battery, battery mount. But I don't mind putting one there and then some two-sided tape. Um, but yeah, that's gonna look sweet. It's gonna look sweet. I'm pretty excited. Thanks again, Rick. Man, this is freaking awesome. And the Mini Z's are pretty cool. If you guys, any of you guys are into Mini Z's, go check Rick out. Man, he's got some cool, cool videos on how this stuff works. And, Got lots of 3D printer stuff. So you see this side. It's got the different ridges and bumps, and he's got that as well. This one will be easier to put a screw in here. I don't know. We'll see. I got some pretty strong two-sided tape, so I might might go that route. Because um, this is not supposed to be structural. It's purely to cut the wind. So yeah, let me see if I can get these on, and then I'll be back. Oh, also, um, Mike Fear. So I was going through all my opinions. So this is my. I have a couple of different options here. So I have. This is my standard 25 pin or 25 pin tooth pinion. Then I can go up to 32. This is my. If worse comes to worse, I'm not even showing you. So worse comes to worse, I'm going to this, but. When I was going through it all, I found a bunch of uh, what's in there now. This is a 58 tooth um, or 63 tooth. So, Mike Fear, you're going to get one of these along with, um, I'm going to send you out one of these pinions. So, you're going to have a, a Mod 6, a 32. Yep, Mod 6 32. And that, which is pretty much what I got in here. So you should be able to at least catch up some good speeds. So keep on the lookout, man. It might take a little bit, you know, how the postman gets. But this will get you started for your pinions, man. This will do you right. You're going to need a high speed or modify your existing or get a high speed uh, uh, pinion for it. Or a high speed gear. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways. But I'll, I'll, I'll get you these out. Um, i them in a week or so. Anyways, back to this. So yeah, I'll be right back, and we'll see if I can get these side skirts on. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Be right back. All right, so I ended up using this two-sided sticky tape dollar store stuff, but it's made by Super Glue. It's good stuff. You should check it out. For a dollar, it's not bad. You know, dollar and quarter or whatever it is now, dollar fifty. So I'm going to do the same with this side. It's 
holding really well. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's good, it should split nice. So I'll get the other side done and we'll take a look at it all done. And that should be that for today. It's not too long a video, but it is what it is. And we're getting ready and hopefully we get a chance to get a run out. And if with any chance, uh, maybe I'll get a little quick rip on the um, dancing rider for the end footage, a little run footage, because I can do that in the yard or in the kitchen or whatnot in the house. But she's running good. All right, let me get this rolling and get this last piece done, and we'll be right back. All right, so you got our two-sided tape on there, and just got to kind of help guide her in. And that's that. Pretty cool. There she be. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Thanks again, Rick. It's pretty awesome. Let me put the lid on there and we'll see what she looks like. And Mike, keep keep an eye out on the on the mail. Uh, Michael fear. Uh, she should be getting care package pretty soon here. I'll get that out hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, the only thing I see problem with. It's not quite low enough. And I'm not sure I can go much lower. I could probably take the rear down a little bit. And I'll fiddle fart around it. We'll see what we can do. But I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be sweet. Maybe that'll be that edge to get me over that 80, 89, 90 mile an hour marker. Anyways, hope you guys like and subscribe and all that. And enjoyed our uh, Tamiya Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see what I see you. Bye.